months, but it was make or break against Jim Smith's side yesterday. Kevin Sheedy's their new dead ball expert. His first effort brought the crowd of almost 26,000 to life. His second attempt after keeper Alan Knight took too many steps was pushed away for a corner by the keeper. In fact, Newcastle continued to dominate in the first half without getting that all-important goal. Kevin Brock blasts one back over the top as Knight blasts his leaking defence. His opposite number, Tommy Wright, was an anxious spectator for much of the game, but he had to keep his wits about him when Alan McLaughlin broke through the middle and fired in this effort. Now watch how Wright urges everyone forward. And so does manager Kevin Keegan. He knew time was running out and they still needed a miracle. So with five minutes left, the keeper starts the quick break. Ray Ranson plays the long ball out of the shadows. David Kelly glances it down to substitute Mickey Quinn and then runs on to the return. A brilliant half volley sent the Gallagher end into raptures. You'd have thought that United had just won the league title. Quinn's touch was perfect and Kelly didn't hesitate. United survived the last anxious moments and it was relief all round at the final whistle. Keegan left quietly as the fans saluted their new hero. They were unbelievable today, you know, that uh, Alan McLaughlin says to me halfway during the game, he says, I can't believe the noise. You know, it was, it was brilliant. It, it just, you know, it was just on to get a good result.